Hey guys, and welcome to nearly 50 questions for 50K. So I'll be answering a few of the questions that I was asked and yeah, finally get your answers. So first one, age, well, I'm 28 now. And if you watch this video, I'll be 28 forever. Um, my name's Ellie. Um, my height, I'm like 5'10 if I have a massage and I stand up straight. Otherwise, I'm probably 5'9. <laughs> um, my bra size is a 28 double H or not double H, 28 double G. Well, this is a 28 double G that I'm wearing, but I'm more like a 28 H or 30 double G at the moment. And uh, how many pieces of lingerie do you own? Uh, too many to count, to be honest. Uh, what I wear in regular rotations, probably like 50 sets, but I have a lot more sitting in boxes that sadly don't fit me anymore. Um, what things do I prefer in lingerie and why? Um, I prefer a three-piece set. I prefer things to fit me properly. <laughs> um, I do prefer like seamless knickers if possible, like the, the really thick seams on the edges can be annoying and bulky and just uncomfortable. Uh, the next one. Will I make more YouTube videos? Yes, this one. And probably a few more. Um, where do you get your inspiration for photo shoots? Well, it's kind of just you work with the space that you've got. You kind of see what area you're going to, what lingerie you've got, and you kind of just work from there. It's not really a process. But it's just kind of winging it. Um, how did you find yourself intuitively eating and how have you found the journey? Um, I don't know, I just kind of eat when I want, what I want, how much of it. It's, if I feel sick I stop, if I feel hungry I eat, if, I, if it makes me sick or an upset stomach then I don't eat that again it's like I don't know just listening to your body and what's the next thing where do you live I live in Sydney and next question how long have you lived in Sydney um, I've lived here since I finished high school so I don't even know how long ago that was probably 11 years um, but I haven't lived in Sydney that whole time. I did move to London briefly, well, like three, three years, three and a half years. And then I moved back. So I've been here, yeah, on and off. Um, do you own more clothes or lingerie? I definitely own more lingerie. I like to think that some of my pieces I can wear as clothes, probably not, but <laughs> yeah, definitely more lingerie than clothes. How many times have you been proposed to or asked on a date? Uh, on Instagram, none. In real life, just one. Just my husband proposed to me. <laughs> That's it. Had to like, you know, poke and prod him to get there, but got there in the end. Um, do you ever think you'll get sick or bored of lingerie to the point the addiction will just end? You know what, I have thought about this and I'm not sure. I don't think I'll get sick of it. Hope not. It'd be a terrible waste of time and money. Um, when did you know that lingerie was going to be a thing for you? I mean, I didn't. I guess I knew it was going to be like a thing when people started reacting and following and, you know, asking me questions and... I guess that's when it kind of became a thing. I was like, okay, I can do this. I don't just have to be like a passive watcher or passive poster anymore. I'll just be a bit more active, I guess. So probably three years ago. Um, 
do you wax or shave? I don't do anything and I'm very sad that no one's noticed. <laughs> no, um, I've actually started growing my underarm hair, just trying it out, seeing if it helps with like sweating or smell, if there's like actually any benefit to having it or not having it. So I'm trying that out. I'm not a particularly hairy person, so it's not like a, it's not a big deal. It's not noticeable really. Uh, what's the next one? Motor boating for or against? I'm gonna say for, I guess, whatever you're into. Uh, what first started you buying lingerie? Uh, I don't know, I must have had some spare money and <laughs> that's why I started buying it. It wasn't a thought out process. And these things just kind of begin. It's like, why did you decide to buy wine today? Um, I can never get my goddess to stay attached. Any tips? My tip would be to get nylon stockings and to have a suspender that has metal clips and not plastic ones because they're much easier to attach. And also, um, to make sure that when you do attach it, that it goes all the way in and not just halfway. Like I see lots of people and there's like this little gap. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like this tiny gap there. You need to push it all the way to the end to stay in place. If you don't do that, your stocking is going to come undone. But yeah, generally like the nylon stockings that are quite thin, they're good. Anything that has like a really thick top, like I find Agent Provocators are quite thick, or they're old ones anyway. Um, I love what Katie did, their coloured stockings, but the welt's really thick on that as well, so that can be quite hard to put into most suspender belts. But yeah, it's just finding the right combo. Uh, do I like Nick Cave? He's okay, I guess. Um, does my partner appreciate wearing, you wearing nice laundry. No, I've said that wrong. Does your partner appreciate you wearing nice laundry? Not at all. <laughs> it's like the biggest waste of time ever with him. It really, he couldn't care less. We're like, oh, that's nice. How much did it cost? I'm like, ah, it's a me friend to know and you'll never find out. <laughs> um, what is my spirit animal? I would say, I don't know, maybe like a giraffe or a flamingo or something. Something like tall and awkward. I don't know, maybe one of those two. Um, you've got over 50k followers. How many questions do you get? I get quite a few like, genuine questions less so than like weird responses like the amount of times that people just write sex boobs just random shit is you know you can't count it there's so many responses of those but they don't count <laughs> obviously because i'm not answering any i mean how would you answer that yes i am female yes i have boobs um Did you ever think you'd reach 50k? Mm. I thought I'd reach it eventually, but I didn't know if I would give up before that, to be honest. So I was thinking for a while of either doing more or doing absolutely nothing. I was thinking about just like giving it all up. But I like the people that I've met on Instagram. I like our little community. So I found it like really hard to give it up. Um, how does it feel reaching 50k? It feels okay, like, you know, it's just a number, but it's cool to have an even number, that's all I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to get there, I wanted, you know, clean 50, but I guess it never stays the same, so it doesn't really matter. How did you get the blue verification tick? Well my sister actually took my phone and applied for me 
but I believe there's a form on Instagram that you just fill out and then I think you have to take like a photo of your driver's license or something and then they just verify that it's you but I don't know what they look for I don't know what criteria there is I don't know if you need to have a certain number of followers or anything like that but some people get approved and some people don't and it literally means nothing and what is your favorite color my favorite color is yellow I love yellow it's always been my favorite uh, what's your favorite color laundry to wear? I would say red. Like, I'd choose black, but black's not a color. So, red is my favorite. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel confident. Yeah, definitely red. And what do you sleep in? In winter, I sleep in like the most hideous shit ever. Like, you don't want to see it, it's like horrendous, it doesn't get washed all winter. <laughs> um, in summer, I wear silk slips. Uh, do you do live on Twitch? No, and I don't think I ever will because it's just like a whole other platform that you have to get into, and I don't have the time or energy for it. I mean, I'd love to see someone else's Twitch. But, so I can kind of understand it a bit more, but I don't think it's something I'm going to do. And what is your perfume? So I don't actually wear much perfume, like probably like once a month I'll spray some perfume if it's like a special occasion. I don't like wearing lots of chemicals on my skin every day. I do use this one though. This is a map of the heart and this is my wedding perfume so like I've still got heaps left because I literally hardly ever wear it um, but that's the one perfume that I do have and wear um, otherwise one of my friends has just started working at I think it's called Mason 21 G it's a place where you can make your own like make your own perfume and it actually seems like quite a reasonable price so I want to go in there and make one of my own that could be quite cool uh, what's the next thing? Is it weird that if you meet people, they have already seen you in your underwear? Not really. I mean, I live in Australia, if you can't tell, and most people go to the beach in nothing. So literally, you see me more covered up on Instagram than what you do everyone down the beach. So I don't think it's weird at all. Uh, what age did you become a confident woman? Um, I think every year I get a bit more confident. I think it's something that comes with age. It comes with practice. Like you just learn to not give a shit. Like, you know, most things in life don't matter. It's just, you know, noise. You gotta focus on what you want and who you are as a person and I think that gives you confidence. And also wearing nice lingerie helps. And which stockings are easy to attach to suspenders that are good quality and not too exy? Uh, see, quality and price kind of go hand in hand. Um, there's a brand called Cleo. I think they're quite good. Um, you have to buy them online though, they're not stocked in a store, at least in Australia. Um, one of my favourite brands is Secrets and Lace. I'll show you. That's these ones, so the nylon stockings, love them, they're like my favourite. Also, what Katie did, they're like 10 to $20 a pair. And if you're like curvier, the nylon swish stockings are amazing even if you're just taller you need that extra size so it's like medium to I want to say triple XL but I could be wrong but yeah like definitely those brands are my favorite and the nylon switch there I can't remember how much they are they're probably around 20 a pair and what would you tell your 20 year old self with what you know now about lingerie I would say go get fitted for sure I'd say quality over quantity 
like I can't stress that enough. Um, don't put it in the washing machine. I think we all know that though. Um, and yeah, buy a wash bag. Buy one of those. I wish I'd done it sooner, seriously. It saved me so much time. I just throw my knickers that can be in the washing machine in that and it saves them completely. Uh, what else is there? What age did you get into lingerie? Mm, probably when I moved to Sydney actually because where I was from in Queensland there's no such thing as lingerie really like everyone just lives in their bikinis. Um, I guess probably when I came down here I was like oh my god pretty things and <laughs> it just started from there. And then when I moved to the UK, there was so like many more stores, but I had no money. So I was constantly just window shopping. And then when I've moved back to Australia, the money is so much better and I could afford to buy stuff. And it was like, oh my God, where do I shop? Like the options were so much better here when I came back than when I left. So it's kind of been like, what? Well, yeah, it has been like 11 years since I've got into lingerie. Um, have you ever had colleagues or family come across your Instagram profile? Yes, I have. Some I've pointed in that direction, being like, please go follow my page and like and subscribe. And <laughs> other ones have actually just found it themselves, which is super surprising. Like, I don't, like, it's not that many followers so for someone I know to find me it seems weird but anyway um and what has the reaction been um good I've never had anyone say something bad to my face at least um but yeah anyone that matters supports me anyone that's jealous or close-minded or insecure themselves then they're the ones who are going to say something bad and I really don't care. That's in the end, that's their problem that they have with themselves and not with me. Uh, have you ever tried boob lifting stickers for under punching outfits? I have. Um, I've actually got another brand that I'm going to review soon. So I've got two brands that I've, I want to try out at the same time to see how they go, but I'll be wearing them next week. I've got an event to go to. So hopefully they work, otherwise there's going to be like boobs flying out everywhere. Um, what do you get out of this? Why do you do it? It's a hobby, I guess. It's just, it's just a hobby that's kind of like in the public eye. It's, I get enjoyment out of talking to people. I get enjoyment out of wearing lingerie. I, I'm not going to lie, I do like it when people say I like it what you're wearing or you know something like that I'm not gonna lie and pretend like I don't um, I do get some money not a lot but some it's like little pocket money it's like here put back into your laundry fund and what pieces will you never part with and why um, I don't know if there's anything that I'd never part with I'd probably never part with my wedding lingerie. Um, what else? I've actually got a made by Nikki bodysuit that I have never worn, but I'm never getting rid of. And what else is there? Probably like leather harnesses. Like they're pretty good for a while. I'm not gonna get, I mean, they're adjustable. There's no reason to get rid of them. And what else? I do find it really hard throwing away old stockings like I wish there was something like is it the Swedish stocking company in Australia so you could like recycle them but it seems pointless sending them over there because it's so far away it's like counterproductive and do you buy laundry for your husband no <laughs> he is very much not into men's laundry I remember one Christmas he got someone like Someone got him for Secret Santa and they bought him like a male thong. It was hilarious. He nearly died. He didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> um, 
I want to buy my special someone lingerie, but how do I know if they will like the gift? You don't know. That's that's the thing. You're never 100% sure. I mean, the best thing to do is ask them what they like, see what they like. Like, you should be able to access their lingerie drawer or if they're on Instagram, stalk their page or... I don't know, but always buy something that you think that they'll like rather than what you want to see on them because they are very different things. So, who takes all of my photos? I do. I take all of my photos. Um, I've only ever done a photo shoot with like maybe three photographers, four. So I'm trying to do more with other people, but yeah, if, when you see my photos like in my room, you know, against this wall, they're all taken by me. <laughs> if it's anything that looks different, it's probably because it's been taken by someone else. Yeah, and that's it. Thanks for coming to watch me answer all of your questions. Hopefully I've answered them all because I do not want to do this again. <laughs>